Hi Virgo. I'm Sammy. This is going to be your reading for November 24th through the 30th. Please like and subscribe. Just take a minute to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can get your reading next week. How are you Virgo? Just coming out of this new moon in Scorpio energy. Today will be the last day of this. Um, we're in a, a moon in Capricorn right now so you may feel like you need to get stuff done today. Okay, and that's for a reason. It's to push you to take action on something or just quickly bust it out. You know, whatever it is you've been putting off. And it may be a lot. Maybe a lot on your plate right now. But today is the best day to do it. Okay, Spirit, clear messages for Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to see in here? Please show us the cards we need to see for Virgo. Okay, Spirit wants to do this overall energy first. So let's get a... Okay, Thinker, that is you. Overanalyzer, number 44. That's a good number. Okay, the Thinker. Let's read it. Virgo, are you thinking too much? Probably are. Okay, 44. The thinker. Strategy. Being analytical and logical. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct, for in this moment there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life that you're playing right now. Okay, I'm going to read the prosperity message. Calculated action is called for now. It's important to sit down and plan a strategy. Focus on the steps you're going to take to claim your prosperous life. Lists are your friends now, so get out your journal. Write down what you're going to do today to signal to the universe that you're serious about attracting abundance. Your plans and strategies will yield wonderful results. Remember your most effective strategic partner is spirit. You will win this game. And your triumph will be for the highest good of all. You might be suffering from analysis paralysis. Thinking has its place, but trying to figure everything out logically is not going to work right now. Your conclusions will likely be faulty, and you may act upon false assumptions that will get you in a jam. Give your mind a rest. Do something creative. Exercise or meditate. Soon... You'll come to your senses, and an aha moment will bring new clarity. Okay, so lists are your friends. That's what Spirit said. Okay, confirm what it is that you're attracting with Spirit. And also, give your mind a break from all that thinking. Do what you can, but don't over and over and over and over analyze. There's only so much you can think about. Okay, and then it just becomes like stress and anxiety. Okay, Spirit. What is the message for Virgo this week? November 24th to the 30th. For all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Nodes. As you know, this may not resonate for you. This may not resonate with every single Virgo. So please check out your other signs moon rising venus okay there was a loss here you may have lost a partner you may have lost a job money this whole cv19 thing okay this is loss grief this can be insecurity you may be feeling insecure about money about anything really i mean it could be low self-esteem it could be anything that has like your self-worth took a hit, okay? There was some kind of a loss here. Deep down, I really think you're this king of pentacles, Virgo, or 
or maybe you felt like you were king of pentacles until this loss occurred queen of cups this is a water sign this can be pisces cancer scorpio you may feel like this king of pentacles energy you may be calling in abundance to yourself or you may have had a loss in the past and now you're feeling more abundant king of pentacles um, and he's generous and he knows what he wants and he's stable and secure and he has everything and he plans his future and 401k and all that stuff and he's just very secure okay so this may be what you're thinking about you may be thinking about this loss and how to become this king of pentacles but we have this queen of cups you may be interested in a, a queen of cups energy Or just emotional fulfillment period okay and something is aloof this is like discontent unsatisfied it's not going the way you want yet okay but you will have a new opportunity here this is a new opportunity in abundance this could be a job offer promotion anything that brings you more long-term success and stability that's ace of Pentacles. Okay, and we have the moon. This is Pisces. This is the unknown. This is the subconscious mind. These are the maybe worries or fears that you have. You may be uh, worried about this loss. I don't know, it's just like these, <laughs> they're like looking up at the moon, but right above the moon is that loss card, and I feel like the animals are looking up at the, at the loss, or at the insecurity. It's like you have this opportunity to, to have something great, or to get this new job, this new promotion, whatever this is for you, for abundance. This could be a new idea that you have that, that brings in abundance, but it's like a job offer. Okay, Page of Wands, this is wanting to move in the direction, but it's like, I feel like deep down you're a little bit nervous about it or scared or feel insecure because of this past loss. You may be interested in a Queen of Cups, but like afraid to really go for it. Even if you see it as an opportunity, it's like you're unsure because you're letting your past influence you and and that fear comes up again of, of the insecurity of whatever happened in your past so don't let this fear keep you from taking action we have this page of wands it's like you're thinking about moving forward you're thinking about making a move on this um you may be thinking about uh, an opportunity for a passionate new beginning this could be creative new beginning this could be career but Paige is like thinking. You could be in the in the mental space thinking about this new creative beginning, new job. And it's like wanting to take action. And then we have this eight of wands is then it comes in really fast, okay? Or you, you decide to just like, yeah, I'm going to take action. I'm going to move forward on this. Or you make a move on this and or um, wands can sometimes mean communication. So you may hear from someone, someone may call you and offer you a job, someone may reach out and um, try to talk to you, but you're waiting to see. It's like you wanna wait it out and see. Three of wands. Three of wands generally is like, you put the plan in motion, you planned it out, you think you have it figured out, and you start to move on it, uh, and now you're just waiting to see how it unfolds. It's like waiting to see your ships coming in. We have Temperance. This is Sagittarius. So you may be dealing with Sagittarius as well. But Temperance is waiting. It's another waiting card. You've got two waiting cards back to back. So it's like you're going to have to have patience with this. You're going to have to wait it out of it. And Temperance is like makes tweaks and alchemizes and figures out the the deeper hidden things and listens to their guidance okay the, the higher mind these angels 
you want to listen to your guides on this. You want to be patient with this, whatever it is you're waiting on. Uh, so don't rush it. It's like this idea comes in and you want to make a move on it, but, but you're waiting. Okay, and they want you to wait. It's good to wait on this. High Priestess. It's another Pisces card. It can be the moon or, or um, Cancer. So, High Priestess is using your intuition. It's using your higher guidance. It's the High Priestess is the subconscious. You know, it's a, like, what are you telling yourself? How do you really feel deep down about it? And we have Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And this is the only one that popped out reverse. So that's kind of like something isn't over yet, okay? There's a cycle that hasn't yet ended for you. So we're waiting on this cycle to end. And that may come after you go within, use this intuition, waiting, temperance, okay? Alchemizing, figuring out what to tweak, what to heal, how you need to, to work on yourself moving forward because something isn't done yet. Or in your mind, you're still holding on to something, okay? Some, some kind of cycle, karmic cycle, some lesson has not been learned yet. So you need to do that. You may go in uh, in meditation and realize that emotionally you're still carrying some baggage or you may be still hurt about something and you're needing to work on that. We have Page of Cups. This is like new love offer that comes in after this. And the Hierophant. This can be commitment. So it seems to me if, if it's a relationship you're wanting or even a job, you may get some sort of offer here in the end. After you kind of go within and figure out what you're still holding on to and why you can't let go of these lessons for a go. So we have this page of cups here, which is like a new offer, a new proposal, uh, and it's emotional, okay? It can be communication of emotion, of some sort of care, concern, love. And then we have the Hierophant, which can be about commitment, can be about traditions, can be about um, the church. To me, the Hierophant can be marriage or it can be commitment. It can be any anything that you're willing to commit to. So it may be a person or maybe a job, uh, a job offer that you get and you decide to take it. Okay, but there is, this is my biggest concern here for you. Okay, and this too. There's something that is unknown or something you're not dealing with, something that's been hidden. And you may just not be wanting to face something about yourself, some sort of baggage or something you're not letting go. But this is a cycle that hasn't ended. This is a lesson that is yet to be learned. So this karmic cycle cannot end and you will keep replaying the same cycles again and again until you do, until you go within this high priestess, subconscious, check your belief systems, check that you're emotionally healing when you need to because until this lesson is learned, this stuff isn't going to come in for you. Okay, recognize what needs to be learned, heal, deal with it. Then comes the new love offers. Then comes the possible commitment relationship. Okay, and this can be for a job too. If you're already in a committed relationship, then this most likely is about a job offer here. Okay, there is an opportunity here for money and long-term success. So it may be, um, take it out resonates Virgo. Some cases it will be about love. For some of you, it will just be about your abundance and making a move on a job offer. It could be waiting to hear back from a job. Um, and this could also be something with career where you, you're dealing with the same issues over and over. And until a change is made, the lessons aren't learned, you're going to be so waiting to hear, okay? I'm waiting for this commitment to present itself. It seems more like love to me, Virgo. But for some of you, it will be career. Okay, be careful when you're thinking too, the thinker, right? Remember this, don't be too over analyzing of things. Know your worth and, and get down to the bottom of how you feel subconsciously through meditation, not through sitting and overthinking, overthinking, overthinking situations, but really check in with yourself and, and your, your higher self and your intuition. And ask about what needs to be healed. You know, spirit will tell you. You just need to ask. Show me, you know, what baggage I'm holding on to. Show me what lessons have yet to be learned. 
and spirit will show you if you're willing to see those things will start coming up in your life and may cause some chaos for you but it will be apparent that that's the sign you, that you need to work on that lesson that particular thing okay what the hell are you waiting for get that shit done so you are waiting okay temperance is like still trying to tweak stuff fix stuff and this card is definitely waiting and you did get two back to back so if you're waiting for a sign well here it effing is these cards are vulgar okay so on one hand it's good to wait because you need you need some healing to be done okay so maybe spirit is saying don't wait on the healing aspects try to learn those lessons so until you learn those lessons these things are just going to keep coming up for you the healing needs to be done in order for real change to happen okay chameleon spirit act as if 14 which is four and one makes five so this is change okay and the chameleon obviously changes look at that so cool okay so act as if act as if you already have healed that stuff within and keep working on it act as if until you start to see those things come out act as if you have that amazing job until you get that offer okay um and be honest with yourself too though i mean you have to go into the subconscious mind and really get the emotion behind it when you're acting as if because if the subconscious knows you're pretending it's not going to work you have to really feel the emotion that you have it already in order for that manifestation to come in okay spirit please give us a work your light oracle card for virgo the crumbling what are you clinging on to this is what i'm talking about okay this is some sort of baggage some sort of emotional thing you haven't healed yet okay virgo so what are you clinging to what is it that you're still holding on to it's something you need to heal and let go okay and you have this inner temple go inside to your inner temple okay devotion tune into yourself what is it that you need to do next Okay, tune into the portal of your heart. Tune into yourself. Really dive deep and think about what am I clinging to? What am I holding on to? What am I afraid to let go of? It's those things that you keep doing, those perpetual things that's preventing you from learning this lesson here. Okay, let's get a daily guidance card for Virgo, please, and then we'll call it daily guidance card from the angels yep law of attraction each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends so invest wisely you have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love peace and harmony at your request we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequency okay co-create with spirit dive deep Okay, deep into yourself. Act as if. This is law of attraction. Okay, and quit overanalyzing everything. Go within, into the darkness, into the quiet. And allow those things to come up. Feel that emotion. And then you know what it is that you're dealing with. And then you can recognize what actually has to be healed in order to move forward. Because it's these repetitive things in your mind. These things that you're holding on to this thing choose your thoughts and align them with love peace and harmony okay so be careful not to put this baggage whatever it is that you're holding on to don't put it in the forefront don't don't keep it heavy on your mind it's something you have to let go of and allow the angels to come in and attune your energies for you ask them to come in Ask them to tune you to where you need to be to increase your vibration. Okay, Virgo, you have some work to do this week. Inner work. 
All right, I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And bye.